Hey y'all, welcome to another Saturday Suds on Uncle Bob's Bell Buckle Bear Views. Still ain't got my beer shipment in from my beer club, so I'm doing a brew today that I've been wanting to try for a long time. I've seen this brew around in a liquor store. That's the only place I've seen it. Um, it's a very expensive. I give $8 for a stinking bottle, man. It is a Belgian brew, and it is called Delirium Tremens. Delirium Tremens, and it's interesting. I mean, this bottle, I don't know. It, it, it looks like a ceramic bottle. I don't know that it's a ceramic bottle, but it looks like it is. Um, this stuff is a 8.5% alcohol by volume. It's 11.2 fluid ounce bottle. It's brewed and bottled by the Hue, the Huey, Huey, H-U-Y-G-H, Huey Brewery in Mel Gent, Belgium. All right, so this is a Belgian ale, family brewery, Huey, I guess. Since 1654 is what it says on here. So this brewery's been around for a while. Um, anyway, I, I've been wanting to try this for a long time, and uh, usually I see it in a bottle about the, one of the, uh, I guess it's a 750 milliliter bottle, one of them big bottles, like a wine bottle. Well, man, things like 30 bucks, and you know, at 8.5% alcohol by volume, I don't want to drink one by myself, so I give eight bucks for this small bottle, but I've been wanting to try this for a long time. So we're going to try it today on a Saturday sud, since I still don't have my beer club brews. All right, and the bottle's kind of it's coated in foil there. But now the top of the bottle is brown. Okay, so it it, it could be that uh, they have painted this bottle. That's what it kind of looks like. Cause the yeah, they have painted the bottle. I guess see there if I pulled the I pulled the the foil away, it's been painted. And it's, it's got texture to it. It's like grains of something, sand or something, and the bottle's got a little the grainy texture. So they have painted this bottle to protect the flavor of the brew, I suppose. All right, so let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna stop there, because Belgian nails have a tendency to really foam up. Um, the Duval Belgian ale I got, I mean, it was spewing when I opened the bottle. Oh, it's got the Belgian fragrance to it. Beautiful bubbles floating up through there. Man, that is pretty. And the bubbles are, are I mean, it's real spongy looking. Real spongy looking, real spongy looking head on that thing. And just a tad, just a, just a tad of haze there. Not much. It's almost bright, but it's got a little tad. Now, when I when I uh, get to the bottom of this, I'll give it a good swish, and I bet you anything, it'll, it's going to cloud it up pretty good when I do that. Uh, it doesn't say on here, but a lot of the Belgian, a, a lot of the Belgian that I've seen, are uh, bottle conditioned, and you need to give them a good swish. They got that sediment in the bottom of them. But this, I mean, of course, this is a. That in the inside the bottle is completely dark. That paint really protects from the light. All right. So spongy looking head, nice fragrance. Let's see what the head tastes like. Get a little, a little more off in there. Hmm. Hmm. It's got that Belgian flavor to it. That Belgian ale flavor. If y'all know, if y'all ever had a Belgian ale, ale, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a, it's a sweet type flavor, and it's not syrupy, not sugary sweet. It's got some kind of I don't know how to describe the sweetness to you exactly. Um, it's a rich, a rich, rich sweetness. Hmm. But it's delicious. You know how, if you have a certain type of dessert, say like a fl a fudge, um, and it'll be just extremely rich. You know, it's got that chocolatey, just real rich flavor. Um, 
that's the kind of richness that, that I'm talking about, that rich, sweet flavor, but it's not chocolatey, it's not, it's not what I'm saying. It's just got a rich, sweet flavor to it. All right, so pretty close to the bottom here. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good swish to rest it off that down in there. That good swish back and forth, sip it. And it's clouded up quite a bit more since I've poured more of the beer in there, but I think this will really cloud it up. I'm, I'm kind of counting on it too. All right, let's see what we got. Man, it is just a gorgeous day out here in Bell Buckle, Tennessee, y'all. Um, it's a little cooler today. Yesterday, um, I was doing my videos, <laughs> and it come up a rainstorm on me. And it rained for, I don't know, about an hour, hour and a half, and then it stopped, sun come out, and then it rained again. So, we, I mean, it wasn't a real deluge rain at that time. It just kind of sprinkled the rest of the day into the, into the morning hours. And it was a little cool this morning. And it, it's cool now. I think it's it, it was in the 80s yesterday, and today it's in the it's in the 60s. <laughs> I think. In the 60s, so it, it cooled it off quite a bit. Of course, I can't see anything down inside that bottle, but that that's a cool looking bottle. I'll definitely keep it. Interesting. Delirium trimmings. I'll pull that back a little bit where you can see the dad gum thing too close to the camera I hate that I, get, I gotta use a coffee can but that's all I that's all I got all right so yeah yeah that hazed it up quite a bit I can just barely see my fingers through it now yeah I can still see them but just barely but that is a pretty gold brew man the sun shining through that stuff just a gorgeous not a cloud in the sky y'all know what that means it's a good day to drink a beer <laughs> And I've been wanting to try this beer for a long time. So anyway, this uh, Delirium Trimmings is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the work that you do day in and day out, week after week, uh, month after month, year after year, to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way. Um, we all depend on each other. Whatever your job is, uh, it doesn't matter what your job is. We, we all depend on each other. Your job is essential to somebody you know, to, to, to provide a good or a service or something here in America. And I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Oh, that's good. I'm getting just a... I, all right, so I don't know. I haven't read it anywhere, but I have heard that a lot of the Belgian style ales will be brewed with a clove, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, um, I, I think clove is what it is, brewed with cloves, um, and it seems like I get just, just a hint of that in the flavor of this here, just a little bit. Man, in bubbles, it's dissipated pretty good now. I mean, it took it a little while to dissipate, but I still, I don't, yeah, there's little bubbles still floating up through there slowly, but it's got good carbonation in it. Mmm, and, and just a hint of that clove and that, that rich, that rich flavor that you associate with a Belgian style ale, man. It's got it. I'm telling you what, man, it is rich and delicious. Very good brew. Is it worth eight bucks? No, it is not worth eight bucks. Um, it's delicious, but you know, I just got it because I've been wanting to try it for a long time, but I won't, I'll, I won't buy another one. I, they're just too expensive. I can get I can get another beer at eight 
8.5% alcohol by volume cheaper than seven bucks a bottle, I guarantee you. <laughs> well, heck, I, I can go to a convenience store right down here and get me a big little thing in a in a 19 ounce can. It's a 9.1 or a 9% ABV and it cost me like three bucks. So there you go. <laughs> and it's delicious too. I like those. But this is a good brew. I'm glad I got it because I've been wanting to try it for a long time. Oh, it's rich and delicious. And just that, just that little hint, just that little hint of clove. Mmm. Good stuff. All right, y'all. Hey, if y'all have had uh, delirium trimmings, let me know what you thought about them. Got the pink elephant on there because you get drunk and crap, drink too many of them, and start seeing pink elephants, I guess. <laughs> I, I got another one. It's it's uh, it's not the it's not the delirium trimmings, but it's made by the same people. It's got a painted bottle. The label is dark blue, and I'll be reviewing it here in the near future. Um, it's it's something a little bit different. Uh, uh, good stuff. Hey, leave me a comment. If you've tried some of this, what'd you think about it? Um, I think it's delicious, but it's just too pricey for me. All right, y'all. I'll be back next week for a taste challenge Tuesday. I got something that's common. You can get it at any beer store. Probably. Maybe. Some people can. <laughs> but I'll be doing that next Tuesday. All right. So y'all stay tuned. Take care. I love and appreciate y'all. Cheers. Mmm. Uh, That's just rich and delicious. <laughs>